Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have yet to confirm the sex of their baby but don't expect the newborn to be wearing blue or pink, as they want to raise their child without gender stereotyping, a new report claims. The 37-year-old Duchess of Sussex is said to have told her friends that she and Harry, 34, will be avoiding gender stereotypes with their son or daughter. The revelation comes just a month after it was reported that they had designed a gender-neutral nursery for the unborn child. Meghan has been talking to some of her friends about the birth and how she and Harry plan to raise their baby. Her exact word was fluid, a source told Vanity Fair. She said they plan to raise their child with a fluid approach to gender and they won't be imposing any stereotypes, the Royal Insider added to the magazine. It's unclear what exactly the royal may have meant by the term fluid, as there are multiple interpretations of what that might look like. As parents, the royal couple may decide to avoid dressing their firstborn in certain colors that are associated with one gender more than the other and encourage their child to play with a variety of toys that are typically associated with specific sexes, for example dolls and trucks. On the other end of the spectrum, there is a small group of parents who are raising thebes, children who aren't identified as male or female. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's modern approach to parenting may be a testament to Meghan's California upbringing, as focusing on more of a gender-fluid upbringing has proven to be a popular view shared by many A-list stars. Kate Hudson recently made headlines after she revealed in an interview with AOL that she is planning to take a genderless approach to raising her newborn daughter Rene. She later clarified her statement explaining that she simply meant she is raising her kids to feel free to be whoever they want to be. Me saying a genderless approach was a way of refocusing the conversation in a direction that could exist outside of the female stereotype, she said. It just felt a little antiquated to me. Not all girls want to be a princess, some want to be a king. Angelina Jolie, Bryce Dallas Howard and Russell Brand are also among the celebrities who have spoken candidly about steering clear of gender stereotypes while raising their children. In January, it was reported that Meghan and Harry designed an eco-friendly, gender-neutral nursery at their new home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, where they plan to move before the baby's expected arrival in late April, early May. The nursery is believed to include a bedroom, a playroom, and a spare bedroom for Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, when she stays with the couple. As part of the nearly $4 million renovation of their Grade 2 listed home Frogmore Cottage, which is on the Queen's Windsor estate, they also reportedly made plans to install child-proof window and a $66,000 eco-friendly boiler. Meghan has enlisted the help of the star interior designer Vicky Charles, who decorated the chic hotel Soho Farmhouse in Oxfordshire which hosted Meghan's bachelorette party for three days. Royal sources said the nursery will be painted in trendy whites and greys, with Meghan avoiding any paints tested on animals or ones that contain milk or beeswax as an ingredient. Instead, she has chosen a vegan, non-toxic, eco-friendly emulsion by organic and natural paint company. Rather than opt for fashionable faro and ball paint in favored shades such as Wevit, Penoir, and pavilion gray, and salmon, the Sussexes are much in favor of the organic and natural paint Cozoro range for the nursery, the Sun reported. The paint brand, based in Norfolk, was set up in 2012 by father of two Chris Ridley after his family suffered from respiratory issues. Infusing the paints with rosemary and eucalyptus oils is said to boost the immune system and creativity, and even enhance memory. The sex of the royal baby remains unclear, but it was recently reported that Meghan told a friend at her lavish baby shower in New York City that she and Harry are expecting a boy. Others have speculated that she is having a girl based on the decor at her star-studded party, which was held at the Mark Hotel's incredible Grand Penthouse suite. Decorations for the shower started arriving the day before the bash, and there was plenty of pink from the blush-colored roses to the cotton candy machine that was brought into the hotel. Earlier this week, a video that emerged on social that appears to give a glimpse at the decorations inside the penthouse party. Royal fan account Harry underscore Meghan underscore updates shared video on Instagram stories, claiming that the short clip was actually captured inside the star-studded baby shower.
The video shows a dessert table that features plenty of sweet treats, including four macaron towers from La Durée, which cost a total of $460. It's possible that Meghan took a gender-neutral approach to her shower décor, as her close pals were treated to multiple cupcakes iced in pink and green frosting as well as stork-shaped cake pops and miniature slices of carrot cake. Also seen in the video are the iced baby-themed cookies that Meghan's longtime friend and makeup artist Daniel Martin shared photos of earlier this week. The crowning glory was a two-tiered cake, which featured a miniature paper cutout of Harry and Meghan, standing next to a stroller. The confection is believed to be the work of event designer Darcy Miller, who has been credited with putting together the lavish dessert buffet at the event. It is unknown who filmed the clip which the account reposted from another Instagram story, but the location is tagged as the Mark Hotel, where the royal's shower was held. Meghan's decision to avoid raise her child without gender stereotypes makes sense considering her history of battling gender discrimination from an early age. In 1993, Meghan wrote a letter to Procter & Gamble lobbying the ivory dishwashing liquid manufacturer to change its chauvinistic commercial after watching it in her grade school social studies class. The commercial proclaimed that women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans, and Meghan took issue with the sexist phrasing. I don't think it is right for kids to grow up thinking that mom does everything, she told Nick News that year. Procter & Gamble responded by changing the wording of the commercial from women to people, 